Welcome to the Bet MGM studio and Titans Camp Rewind. She's Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith, and we're glad to have you with us as we are ready for the preseason to open. The preseason is finally upon us. Now, Mike, in 2021, they switched to three preseason games because they expanded the regular season schedule. How has that impacted the way that the Titans prepare for these games? Well, every team, I think, has sort of taken a different look at it, being that they look at the preseason games as the best opportunity to get the young players involved in game action. In most cases, the veteran players do more in practices against the opponents. For example, next week, the Titans will practice against the Vikings in Minneapolis. And then in week three of the preseason, before the preseason finale, the Patriots will come here for joint practices. So these are big showcases for the young players to get their chances to show what they've learned, what they've improved upon in practice. Now the Titans are heading to Chicago to take on the Bears in their first preseason game on August 12th. Here's what they're saying. Terrell Williams will act as the head coach uh, for Chicago uh, starting on Friday. So I think this is a great opportunity. It's excited for us to keep growing and obviously get to our first preseason game on Saturday. Right now we're just trying to get each other better, so I don't look too far ahead. So it's always nice to go out there and see a different defense and just work different techniques against somebody else. You know, we're going to take everybody. We're going to need everybody on hand, everybody make plays, and, you know, it's enough ball to go around for everybody and get, get opportunities to help us. You know, we got some great guys to make plays for us, so excited about that. Uh, it's going to be very telling when we get to this first preseason game how guys are going to react when it's really live out there. Uh, but they're all competing, and they're all hungry, and I think that's the great thing to see with any of the rookies. Now, Mike Keith, as the Titans are preparing to face an opponent during the preseason, how does that change what they're doing? It varies with the preseason game. For the first preseason game, generally it doesn't change at all. They want their young players in particular to go out and run the Titans plays on offense and the Titans defense when they're on the other side of the ball. They don't want any scheming. They want to see one-on-one -on -one battles to see how guys win, how they react, how they compete. As you go deeper into the preseason, there will be a little scheme, a little game plan added in. But in the first one, it's just generally mano a mano. Now in this edition of Titans Camp Rewind, we wanted to talk about two different position groups, the defensive line and the linebackers. And that worked out so perfectly because earlier this week, Mike Vrabel made the announcement that defensive line coach Terrell Williams was going to be acting as the head coach. Mike Keith, I want to talk to you about why that is such an awesome opportunity, not only for Terrell Williams, but for the team as a whole. Well, let's look at Terrell Williams first. Terrell Williams is from Los Angeles. He started his college football career as a junior college player and then finished up as a nose tackle at East Carolina. He got into junior college coaching in 1998 and then from 99 through 2011, he had an opportunity to coach at various colleges, finishing his time at Texas A&M. He got into the NFL with the Raiders in 2012, went to the Dolphins, and he's been with Mike Vrabel's staff for all six years of the Vrabel era. Overall, he is a highly respected member of the staff, and even though he has only coached defensive line through his entire career, he is viewed as a much bigger figure for the defense, for the offense, for players in general. Mike Vrabel has tremendous respect for Terrell Williams. And the players have tremendous respect for Terrell Williams. So everybody here at Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park is celebrating this opportunity for the man we know as Big T. Now, Mike, you had the opportunity to talk to the man we call Big T and talk about how his players are progressing throughout training camp. D-line certainly always a focus of training camp. Feels like your group is off to a very good start. Do you share that sentiment? Yeah, we're, we've started off pretty good. Um, there's a lot of things that we got to improve on, but the group's working hard. Um, they play well together. They respond well together, so it's a good group. Jeffrey Simmons is doing Jeffrey Simmons things already. Is your biggest challenge making sure that he doesn't turn it loose all of the time? Well, I want him to turn it loose all the time, honestly, because that's when he's at his best. I think when he's going and having fun, that's when he's playing his best football. So absolutely turn it loose, but 
have some control. Danico Autry's performance so far in camp, we didn't see a lot of him in the offseason. Has he bounced back well? Absolutely. He's he's picked up where he left off. He's been in this league a long time. I mean, I so we were laughing the other day about when we got him in Oakland when I was the D-line coach there, and he was a rookie in 2014. And I told him uh, yesterday, say, you look like a rookie again. You're moving around. You're So I'm, I'm excited about Nico, too. Who are some of the youngsters that have grabbed your attention so far? Jaden Peavy is one of them. That's, I mean, he's made a huge jump from where he was um, a year ago. And then the two undrafted rookies. I mean, um, TK McClendon and um, Shaq, both of those guys have done a good job. So we're excited about where they are right now. Outside linebackers coach Ryan Crow has been with the Titans for six seasons. Mike Keith, what has he brought to that group? Refinement. I think a lot of attention to detail and intensity. Uh, Ryan Crow is a guy who brings the heat every single day. And whether you're a guy like Harold Landry or Sam Okawanu or any of the young players trying to make this roster, he wants you bringing it all the time. Yes, it's about technique. And yes, it's about responsibility. But he gets across to these guys that if they're bringing heat, if they're bringing intensity, they can be the ones that really stir the defense. Amy, I think that's why Ryan Crow is so good at his job. Mike, I hear what you're saying that he's bringing the heat, but I need to see it. And luckily, we had him mic'd up at a practice. You're going to want to check this out. That's some good heat. This is how you practice. This is all you do. You just test the win. Oh, oh! oh! Come on, what are we walking for? Word of the day, conditioning. There's that smile. What's up, big boy? Hey, Kay. What's your middle name? Crandall. Crandall? Yeah. Cameras, mics, they don't change me, Jeff. Nico! Last one to win the game. Fourth and five to win the game. Good, 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 good. Two. Good, get off. Drop him, drop him, up, down. Good, go get the ball, go get the ball, go get the ball. Go, get out. Set, here we go. Set on the ball, move, get out. Two, drive it, drive it, drive it. Violence, there you go. Hit, hit. There you go. What a beautiful day. Let's have a day. Let's have a day. Say go. That was a good ball, wasn't it? Yeah. Just like high school. Go, Weave. Good. Good. AK Nico, set the tone. There you go. Turn and run. Turn and run. Keep pushing. Listen, I don't give a f what has happened this point in practice. Go win the game. You got me? Go win the f game. That's a way to start. Yeah. Yeah. Family on three. One, two, three. Family jog it off. Now it's time for what we're posting. And one of my favorite things that we have this year is the SeatGeek Titans cam. And this gives players the opportunity to answer questions as they walk out to practice. And uh, I think it's a pretty good one. Yeah, this week's question was really, really good. And the players dug it. It is, what would be your walk-up song? Oh. If you had a walk-up song, you would be like, please. I'm gonna set it off, you wanna talk? Yeah. Little baby free cell. All my life by J. Cole. All my life. I'm a piano, piano. It's a big vibe with the girls, them know. I don't know the name of it, but the champ is here. <laughs> the champ is here. You belong with me by Taylor Swift. Uh shallow. I probably said uh, Van Halen right now. Awesome. Cyclism. Crazy. Charles Barkley. God's gonna cut you down by Johnny Cash. Kodak Black, 300 Blackout. It's a tough one. There's a lot of songs. Cause you could come out too cocky. Probably Stand in Ovation by Young Jeezy. That might be it. Georgia. I got Georgia on my mind. Mystical, the man right here. Boom. I'll be feeling like the man when I walk through. Pretty woman. I'll be feeling Pretty like woman. the man when I walk through. Pretty I ain't stunned with you, Sam. Hey, man. Hey, man, you my song, man. What you mean? That's the song I said. Hey, thank you. God. You're my mine. Last Friday night. I can't decide whose answer I like the best. I mean, it is a true statement about who you are personally when it comes to your walk-up song. Amy? What is your walk-up song? Well, that is a really intense way to pose that question. I, you can't go wrong with Back in Black by ACDC. Whoa! You just can't go wrong. And you're wearing black right now. I know. Yes. Strong play. What about you? Oh, it's Get Back by Ludacris. <laughs> really? Yeah. I can even do the Les Grossman dance with it. Mike. That, you have to do the Les Grossman dance. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I invite you to follow me on Instagram.
at 10 Voice. I try to give you inside looks virtually every day of what we've got going on as a broadcast team. That's at 10 Voice. And maybe he'll do some dancing. It's worth Les Grossman. just to see. Yeah. Get back. <laughs> Get back, Mikey. Get back, Amy. I'm going to wrap it up. We got to get out of here. For Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Thanking you for joining us from the Bet MGM studio. Titans Camp Rewind. Thanks for being with us.